Now, in terms of biological legacy, how you live your life plays the most significant role in determining your health. This is true for cardiovascular health, neurological health, um, digestive health, and it's true for bone health. Now, bone health is principally determined by the time you're a late teen. In other words, if you haven't made good, strong bones by the time you're 20, you might be in trouble. And this is what makes the study that Gina forwarded so interesting. Um, researchers study collagen supplementation and bone development in kids aged 5 to 15. Main finding of the study is that giving kids collagen at this stage of life may positively impact bone health. Pretty powerful stuff. Now we know that protein positively impacts bone density, uh, yet ironically in studies of bone density in women that drink milk, which is comprised of whey and casein protein, we don't see this effect. In fact, we see the opposite, even though milk has, milk has calcium. So sadly, in terms of bone health, the two populations that are most chronically deficient in protein are seniors and young females. So why hydrolyze collagen? Well, it's bioidentical, which means that it's incredibly bioavailable to the tune of 95%, and it's completely hypoallergenic. In terms of biological impact, everything else really looks like a cheap suit. In summary, if you're a young female, you must exercise, you must spend time outdoors, you must eat a plant-based diet, and you must supplement with protein. Actually, sounds like pretty good advice for all of us. Until next time, be well and continued success to all.